Ms. Bourne's six elements of art. Some people like to say there are seven or eight. I like to say there are six elements of art. Line, shape, pattern and texture, color and value, 3D form and space. The elements of art are like the ingredients a baker uses to make a cake. The way you combine the ingredients, the elements, determines what kind of cake or what kind of artwork will result. These two artists both use line, shape, pattern, and color. The shapes on the left are geometric. The shapes on the right are organic, freeform. Same elements, very different results. The first element of art is line. Lines can be horizontal, vertical, diagonal, zigzag, curly, dotted, curved, so many different kinds of lines. The second element is shape. Lines turn into shapes. The two main categories of shape are or geometric and organic freeform shapes. The third element of art is pattern. Lines turn into shapes. Repeated shapes turn into patterns. Patterns are what you can see. Textures are what you can feel. The fourth element is color. Value doesn't have anything to do with the cost. It just means the lightness or darkness of any color. The fifth element is 3D form. This cube has height, width, and depth. That's what the three stands for, height, width, and depth. The sixth element is space. That means how far apart or how close together two shapes are. If they overlap, one looks like it's in front. Space also means creating the illusion of space in a drawing or a painting. The six elements of art are line, shape, pattern, texture, color and value, three-dimensional form, and space. Say it with me, dear class. Line shape, pattern, texture, color, value, three-dimensional form, and space. This has been the six elements of art with Miss Bourne.